office. Coach, it's Chief Cleveland. He's chief of police here in Pendleton, South Carolina. Of course, we're here in the beautiful Pendleton High School gym in the shadow of Clemson, Death Valley, where this week Clemson did beat South Carolina earlier today. And all these great fans coming back, stopping off here for a night of South Atlantic wrestling in the great PD area. What a great way to raise money for your high school and everything. Oh, Thank. outstanding. The sponsors here, Mike Nelms, they, uh, it's the junior class. They're actually five beautiful young ladies all raising money for their junior prom. And uh, as a matter of fact, tonight it looks like they're going to raise it in the neighborhood of $1,000 for the junior prom for the Pendleton junior class. And they're excited, wanting to do it again next spring with another big TV taping. And from the looks of the crowd here tonight, Gene, Oh, golly, I think they want us to come back. I think they worked real hard. I want to appreciate all the young ladies out there getting us sandwiches and cookies and, of course, Coca-Cola. Because I didn't eat any of those cookies. No, before. I can oh. see that. All you folks listen to us up here on WBT Channel 3 out of Charlotte, up in the Shelby area, don't listen because Coach Gene did not eat any of those cookies. Though. Not me. I'm health-minded all the way. Chocolate chips do make it feel good. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of health-minded and working hard, a man in the ring right now is health-minded and certainly does work hard. And I'm talking about the big Indian star from Robinson County, Pembroke, North Carolina, War Eagle Chris Chavis. You know, part of this crowd can be attributed directly to the War Eagle. He came down here, uh, oh, it's been a couple, three weeks ago now, and uh, spent the day in Pendleton, talked with the high school, talked to the kids here and also at the uh, middle school about to staying away from drugs and the ills of uh, dropping out of school. Of course, uh, he went, uh, Chris went to James Madison University, so he talks about what it, how to pursue your dream. And uh, they all listen. He does a hell of a job. He's a great example for the young people. And he's a great guy. He gets out here and he works very hard. You can tell he's been in the gym for a while. Trains every day with Ricky Steamboat. I know he made the, the assembly here in Pendleton. It was 8.30 in the morning. It was a two and a half hour drive. And you know that rascal got up at 4.30, was in the gym with Ricky Steamboat for two hours before he left to make an 8.30 talk at the assembly. Dedication unfounded all the way. Whoa, what a capital D, and it pays off right now as Dr. X, mass man, just taking the brunt of the blow. 276 pounds dropping across the chin with a leg that looks like a tree trunk. Well, this match is over as far as I'm concerned. This is why the Clemson-South Carolina game there stays. Sure, the game had to be continued, but... The game was over after a couple of quarters. Clemson just sat there and had a good time. <laughs> well, right now, War Eagle Chris Chavis, of course, the only one in the ring having a good time as Dr. X has his work cut out for him. Chavis, of course, won that uh, winner-take-all $2,000 prize last week, put that big deposit in the bank. That's right. Do I hear the ambulance coming? Dr. X has made a call. <laughs> he won't make any more house calls on South Atlantic Wrestling, that's for sure. Chris Chavis, War Eagle Chris Chavis in control. Of course, you know, we talked about the $2,000 last week that did go into the account of Chavis. He got that money or won that prize money by defeating another big man, six foot seven, 301 pound Tex Salinger. Although Chavis won the match, man, there's a, there's a lot of bad blood between uh, Salinger and, and, and the great Indian star. So that, that confrontation, that little side angle, if you will, from uh, the, the uh, Rangers versus Stud Stable Affair. That little sidetrack and personal issue between these two continues. I'll tell you one thing, it's gotten beyond, beyond just wrestling now. This is strictly personal. Blood has got in the way. The Indians' blood versus the Texans' blood, and you know they don't like each other. No, I guess it does have a lot of history behind it. It's a vertical suplex right now. War Eagle Chris Chavis just carrying on a wrestling clinic right here at the expense of Dr. X. Dr. X looks like he's about ready to be an outpatient. I was just saying, he's about to go to Dr. Z, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, look at him down again. Once again, he's just hoping, please, somebody ring this bell now and get this and, thing over. And if you want to know why, he's Dr. Z. <laughs> exactly why is he Dr. Z? <laughs> look at is the big man in the ring Z's? with okay. him. <laughs> But okay. right now, showing us a little offense, Dr. X finally making a bit of a comeback. Head butt between the eyes of the big Indian star. This is what he's going to have to do, Chief, or Coach. He's going to have to get on the Indian and stay on top of him because if he doesn't stay on top of War Eagle Chavis, War Eagle Chavis, that great constitution, that unbelievable amount of strength, is going to come charging back all over him. Well, Chris made a little bit of an error, I believe. He, he could have ended this a long time ago, and he just kept on milking it, kept on milking it. Like the Notre Dame-Penn State game, Penn State out of it at halftime, but guess what? Joe Paterno don't ever give up. And wrong answer is right. And right now, it's War Eagle Chris Chavis, though. A little bit of a problem with this, Dr. X. Chavis in for the ride, crashing into the turnbuckle, followed immediately by a clothesline. Just what we were saying, Coach. He's uh, Dr. X beginning to show a little bit of offense. A second time to the well. Be careful. 
Oh, you don't go to the well too many times. It was it. dry, Frank. <laughs> I guess it was. Chris Chavis, what he lacks in experience, he is learning very, very quickly. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of experience to know that four on the cross. The head didn't feel real good. He moved that time. <laughs> he didn't need to take oh. two. Power slam, spinning in midair. The big man from Robinson County in control. Going, no, I was going to say going for the pin, but instead, oh, he's going to dance. He's dancing the way there on a big chop. And it's raining on the parade of Dr. X as War Eagle Chris Chavis into the dance. Sends him in for the ride. Double chopping down flat on his back. This one is all over. It's just a matter of turning out the lights and shutting down the stereo, coach. Somebody call the doctor a nurse right quick because it's all over right now. Intensive care time. Boom. The big drop across the back. One, two, three. Referee Ronnie Haddock calls the pin. Your winner, War Eagle, Chris Chavis. And just as Chavis is the pride of Native Americans,